Greetings, brothers and sisters. Hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Hope everybody's doing good on this Saturday night. Uh, before I go into it, I always love to give glory and credit uh, to the Most High God. Tonight, briefly, um, if the Lord willing, he may have me. Um, I just wanted to just touch on, hey, Sister Jacqueline, I just wanted to touch on um, orders, order and systems. And um, I just want to talk about order and system. Um, I know some of you may be like, what is he talking about when he's talking about order and system? Um, um, <clears throat> I'm addressing order and system when it comes to the when it comes to life, when it comes to the house of God, um, in this world, things have order. There is a system that has to be followed. All right. I just want y'all to stay with me because I don't want to lose people um, in this world, in the household. Even when it comes to gender, there is order. There's a system. Greetings, Prophet Ronaldo. What's going on, my brother in Christ? God's blessings upon you. There are order and systems. And I was thinking yesterday as I was working, I was just thinking yesterday as I was working, you know, because I do that a lot. You know, I'll, um, you know, I'll just be walking around, you know, on my job. I'll just be thinking about making sure I think about the right things, you know. And I was like, Lord, you're a God that does things in order. You do things on purpose. Everything that you do, it is for a reason. It is it is intentional, right? Like everything God does, he does it for a reason. And you can even see the concept of how God has it set when you look in the law of the land. Amen. Like, okay, for jobs, right? For jobs, they have an order and they have a system that is already set up. Like when you go to McDonald's or Burger King, they're not doing this big old thing. They have a system. They have an order that's already set up, right? Okay. I pre I'm pretty sure if the order in the system is out of order, they wouldn't be able to make the money that they're making. They wouldn't be able to sell what they're selling. They have, when you pull up to the drive-thru, they have a menu where you can order outside. You don't see people cutting everybody. You don't see people running in front of anybody. Even when you walk into the establishment, you walk into the business, it's an order. It's like, who's next in line? You go to Publix. You go to everywhere, businesses. You have to call, make an appointment. That is the order that's set up for the establishment. When you want to get your oil changed, when you want to get your tires rotated, businesses, organizations, companies, they have a system and an order. Right. Amen. Even in the household, there's a system in a order. I know women doing their thing and I know there's some single men's, but this is how God set it up and ordained it. Right. So I moved from the world. Right. And I'm going into, you know, the household, you know, in actuality, in reality, it's supposed to be a man and a woman. First, it's supposed to be God your family, then your wife, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a set in an order. It's a system how God has it already set up. Even when you're working a job, you start from the bottom up. You work your way up to this level. You work your way up to that level. You work your way up to that level. You work your way up to that level. Your pay rate increases. Your job class change. You work your way up increasingly, increasingly in due time, right? It's a system in an order that is has to set up. You don't just get the job and then you go all the way up to management. You don't just get the job and you get in an interview and you talk any kind of way to the boss and the boss say, oh, I'm going to hire that woman. I'm going to hire that man. Even though they was talking foul, I'm going to still hire them. You know, they was they have slang. They have the wrong type of uh, clothing on. They, they, they're saying what they want. Their hair is all crazy. They, they got a track record of being late. I'm going to still hire him or her. That's out of order. You think a boss is going to let someone run the company, get the keys to the doors and be responsible when they are 
not in position. They're out of order. It's like clean yourself up, then get then get get yourself together and, and, and call me back. Or, you know, it was a great it was a pleasure meeting you. You know, we 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 see you later. It's an order. So with that being said, and what I am saying, if many of you are following me, and I know some of you are, some of you may not. Hopefully all of you are following me. If there's an order in the system set up in the world, in jobs, in businesses, in corporations, why when it comes to the house of God? <laughs> why when it comes to the house of God? We want to run that any way how we want to. You don't go to your job and to your boss and say, hey, give me a raise. I want a raise. I come on time. I come on time. I come on time. I do this. Give me a raise. Give it to me now. Isn't that out of order or is that an order? Your boss will look at you like, hey, don't be coming in here being boisterous and loud, coming in my office talking about some, uh, you want a raise? Wait for your time. You're out of order. You need to stay in your place. Even in the household when I was a child, when my mom asked me that I want to eat, I didn't say, I don't want to eat that. I don't want to eat that. I want to eat at eight. You know what I mean? Give me food at eight, mom. She's like, food is served at six. No, give me that at eight. And give me the nice Jordans and, and Nikes that I want. I want that. I couldn't do that successfully. I would get hit in my mouth. I would get the belt on my behind because you want to know why? That's out of order. That's not the system in the order that my mom put in place. Y'all follow me? So I'm going to say it one more time and then elaborate on it and, and articulate it. Why in the house of God? Why in the word of God? <laughs> Why are we ignoring the system and the setup and the order that God already has in place? You don't see me just walking into the church and trying to be an, a bishop and an elder. You don't see me walking in the church trying to be a deacon. And a, uh, you know what I mean? And I don't even know what I'm doing. That's out of order. I get up standing up trying to rebuke people and rebuke people. I don't even know the word. The Lord hasn't revealed nothing to me. They're going to look at me like, sit down somewhere, sir. Now, I'm not saying everything I say is right. Even as a minister, even as an evangelist, whatever people put a title, I mean, whatever people call me, I'm not saying that, you know, because people see me different ways. Some people see me as false. It is what it is. But what I'm saying is it's out of order. God already got a system set up on how he already has it set. It's just like me trying to have a baby. That's out of order. I can't have a baby. I don't have the ovaries. I don't have the body structure as a woman. I don't have the DNA as a woman. Amen. It's just like a woman trying to be a guy. She's trying to have, you know, go to the men's restroom. That's why God has a distinction. We, I don't understand if people can see that. That's why they have a men's restroom. They have a woman's restroom. That's why they have a drive through where you can go to and they have which you can pick and set up. It's an order how the business has it set up. They have it set up so you can be able to do what you have to do according to their standards, according to their establishment. You can't go to McDonald's or Burger King and Wendy's and say, I want y'all to treat me like it's Outback Steakhouse or Olive Garden. They're going to like this system is different. This system, this order is different. We're not all of we're, we're not Burger King. We're not we're not none, none of these restaurants. We are a more eloquent style restaurant. You have to put on a tire. You have to walk in. Look nice. The lighting looks different. Everything is a system in an order. Right. So if your kids can't do what they want in their house. If your kids can't do what they want in your house. If I can't do what I want when I want a job. If I can't walk into my boss office and demand a raise. Why in the house of God we can walk in there. One of the greatest places in the world is not our jobs. It's not even our home, even though the home is well. It's the church. It's the house of God. I mean, we're coming to see the Lord, worship the Lord. But why when it comes to this important place, the most important place you can go to on earth, why when it comes to the order in the system, we ignore it, praise the Lord. Why are we ignoring it? Why are we ignoring the structure in the system that God already has in place? Why are we ignoring everything? I use I use real life examples. It's just like a man. A man can't have a baby. That's out of order. A woman can't have a a, a woman can't 
uh, try to act like a man and grow hair on the chest like a man because she's a woman. That would be out of order. God doesn't function and operate out of order. So I don't know if anybody can share with me, but I would love for many of you to viewers on those who have an ear. Let them hear on this broadcast. Like why people want to do God's house and run it any kind of way. And I, and I don't know, but I really, truly believe God had me thinking on this. Like I have everything. When you look around you, it's set up in order. It's just like when you pay for something, you give money and then they give you your product in exchange. That's the order. You can't just say, give me this. They're going to say, where your money at? Where the check? Where your debit card? Where your credit card? You're not getting gas. You're not getting food unless you pay money. You're not getting anything unless you pay the money. We, we don't just walk in stores and say, give me a, a sirloin steak. Let me get a let me get that and bag it up and let me get it. They're going to be like, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, sir or, or uh, ma'am. Where's your money? That's the system that's set up. So I keep repeating it <laughs> because when it comes to the house of God, like I said, the most important place where you can fellowship, you can forget about your, your, your troubles. You can forget about what's going on. It's a shame that I'm leaving the world. God pulled me out of the world, called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. It's a shame I'm supposed to go into the house of God. We go into the house of God where it's a house of prayer and worship. It is a shame the Bible says forsake not the assembling of the gathering of ourselves like some do. But it's like many people are forsaking the assembly of the gathering because of falsehood in the church because it's ran out of order. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? Am I saying the word? Hey Amen. I'm, I'm giving the word, right? He said, don't forsake the assembly in the book of Hebrews chapter 10. But many people are forsaking it because they see what's going on in the house of God. You wouldn't want to know why they re they're forsaking it because it's ran out of order. It's being ran out of order. Y'all saw the post that I put for Dr. Why need to buy, buy them. Do you see even ministers and those who believe that they're supposed to be in this position of the office, they're running it out of order. Whose name are they using? The Lord. <laughs> they're using the Lord's name, but do, being out of order. She has a resume of how much money you got to give her. When the Bible says the gospel should be of no charge. But you see how much money she's charging and using his name out of order, out of order, out of order. Heaping to themselves. Teachers that are full of lust. Teaching you how to covet house out of order. It's a shame, God. I'm not blaming you. And many people getting mad at God. That is the reason why I'm getting upset. They're getting mad at the father because the people who are operating the church who's supposed to be holy and full of the Holy Ghost, they're running it out of order. That's why I get upset. Because it's not your church. It is the Lord's house synagogue where he's supposed to be worshipped. How can the presence of God be invited when it's out of order? How can the presence of God, how can his presence, he inhabits the praises of his people, but he can't inhabit the praises of his people when strange fire is being offered up to him. He like, I'm not accepting that. This is not what I ordained. This is not what I set up. This is not how I want it to be. So why y'all giving it to me? I don't want that. You don't want anybody giving you burnt food. You don't want anybody cheating on you and talking about, I love you. You don't want anybody committing adultery on you. You don't want anybody, uh, you don't want anybody creating an infidel on you, right? We don't want that, okay? We don't want anybody slandering, cheating. Amen. Bringing things. You don't want anybody bringing things in your home that can taint your home and that can leave spirits that are evil, leaving wicked residue. You don't want anybody to come in your home and to meet your mom or to meet your dad and they leaving a bad impression. That's how God looks at it when we run hit, when we run the house of God out of order. A lot of houses of God that people have, house of Christ, it ain't even ordained by God. That's why it's being ran out of order. God even wants the households to get together. And this is what I'm saying, y'all. Hear me clearly. I know 
We got to get our households in order. We got to get our children, ourselves in order. God is calling in the last days for order and structure. I want order and I want structure. I'm the same way. I never change. I want structure. I want order. This is the type of God that I am. Satan is a God that runs things out of order. That's why they think it's okay to go to gay pride parades and be half naked and holding a child hand. Got their naked body holding their child hand. That's the devil. The devil is out of order. That's sad. That is sad. Because who's running the show? Satan. The prince of the power who worketh in the air. The spirits. They are spirits. Come on, huh? Just like you got feelings when somebody hurt you. Just like you got feelings when somebody unfaithful to you. Just like you got feelings. We all went through pain in our life. And we all go through pain as believers. And don't you think, don't you believe, don't you know that it grieves the Holy Spirit? Come on. That's why the Bible declares that we should not quench or grieve the Holy Ghost. Because that just shows and it just explains and it expounds that the Lord has feelings. We got respect more on the job to our bosses do we, than we have of the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. We got more respect for our bosses. We got more respect for people. We walk up in people's houses and respect them. We walk up everywhere respecting. We even respect the people who taking our order at a restaurant. We got more respect for them. But when it comes to the house of God, there is no respect. When it comes to the house of God, there's no respect. It's just like children in your home. You're not going to tolerate disobedient kids. You're going to say, y'all need to respect me. And when you get of age, you need to move out. When you turn 18 or whatever age you get, 19, 20, I don't know where you're going, but you got to get out of here. You are not about to be in my house doing whatever you want. And we hold that standard. But why we can't have the same standard in the house of God? Why when it comes to the house of God, we're not saying get this out of here. I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you trying to do that in the name of Jesus. Sit down somewhere. We run in God's house how he had it in the, in the book of Acts. We're going to run it this way. We're not running it the modern church day way. With the lights and the camera and the action and the lights and the, and the disco balls. Look like you in the club. That's not God's house. Look like a club when you go to church. I seen a video and woman praise dancers doing the dab. And then you heard a man in the rap song that they had in the church. He's swearing. He's swearing and he cursing and all that type of stuff. And I hear the people in the congregation like, amen, hallelujah. I'm like, they don't hear this. Nobody's discerning anything. These are moon. When David was dancing and the Holy Ghost came upon David, David was, wasn't doing the same type of movements of the world. When David was dancing the Holy Ghost, it was a distinct separate dance. Separate. Be ye separate. We touching the unclean thing. They doing raffle tickets in the church. Raffle this, raffle that. Gambling in the church probably. They probably got a gamble's basement downstairs. When, when David was dancing and the Holy Ghost came upon him, he wasn't shaking it and popping it and dropping it and locking it. That's from the world. So while we say these are praise dancers, we are giving dance. God made dance. Anything that we do singing, 1 Corinthians 10, 31, we do it for the glory of God. We got to keep it holy. We got to keep it separate because the Lord, thy God, is not taking any type of thing in his sight. He will not receive it. But we are offering strange fire because we are out of order. We are submitting strange incense, any strange aroma in the sight of God. God is sitting out there watching and saying, this is not what I ordained. I didn't set this up. That's why they got men marrying men in churches and women marrying women in churches. That's why people believe they can be in offices that are given unto men. That's why they can add to the word and take away from the word. Because there's no fear of God. There's no fear of God anymore. That's why they want to do abortions. There's no fear of God anymore. 
But, but God is saying, my son, my daughter, my word is just being fulfilled. That is why you see the times like you see them. This, this is just a warning sign to show you that I am near. I am nigh. And I'm telling you all, like the like the in, in the in the epistles and in the letter, in the word of God, brother, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, I warn you, I warn. We got to get our houses together. We got to get God's house together. Many people call men and women of God chauvinists and sexists like they call me. Because I just want my father's house in order. I'm not looking at the Lord's house just to go up and, and to dress up nice and to look fly. I want order in God's house like God wants order in my own house. The Lord wants order in my house, right? This is not bashing and putting down nobody. But we have to stand on the word of God. And God's word says, he says, he's a God of order. He's a God of order. There are so many bloods. There's so many blood on the hands of people. Many people skip Ezekiel 3, 18. About the blood being on the hands. Many people will skip, ignore. Because, oh man, the money coming in. This money is nice looking. It is right. But people are giving money and sowing money and still broken and sick, going to hell. Because people and pastors and ministers say like lies like this, like you don't have to. You don't have to speak in tongues, you know, <laughs> they say stuff like that, you, you. You you, you, you you don't have to go to church. You, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to pray. God knows your heart. <laughs> you don't have to live holy because you're nothing but flesh. This is the lies. Mary preached the first sermon, even though the Bible didn't say she did. <laughs> you might as well call Paul a prophetess. If Mary preached the first sermon, then Paul must be a prophetess then. Apostle Peter must be a prophetess as well. Amen. Amen. I mean, you know, that mean that mean men can grow breasts. That mean men can grow breasts then. If, if, if everything just can be out of order. Everything just should be out of order, right? And it's a reason why the Lord has not came back. Because the Lord is giving us time to get it correct. That's why he has not came back yet. The righteousness is still here on earth. And as long as the righteousness of God is here, which is the Lord's people. He's not returning. He, it, things need to be corrected. Things need to get in line. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for the people who do not want to go to church and look bad at God because people are running the house of God out of order. I'm speaking. I'm their voice for them. I know how you feel, brother. I know how you feel, sister. You're praying to God. You're fasting. You're calling out his name. Lord, please direct me to a place where I can worship you in spirit and in truth because there's so many churches I cannot be a part of. I hear you. I know I'm you. I was that way, still asking the Lord, please direct and guide me. And, 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 and the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. But Lord, that's what your word says. Lord, order my steps. I'm tired of being deceived. I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of doing, I'm tired of going through the motion, not feeling God. I want to, I want his presence. I'm going to the house of God to see my Lord. He, he has a word for me. But because y'all are handling his word and are handling and misusing the so-called house of God the wrong way out of order. Going against the confinements of what God has not said. That's why people are leaving away from God. That's why the great some pastors and ministers, they're contributing to the great falling away. The Lord already said it's going to be a great falling away, but why are you contributing to it? 
How am I contributing to it? By lying and preaching falsehood. And by running the house of God any kind of way. That's why you can have gay pastors now. When I spoke about the dream that I had, and I spoke about it on Facebook and stuff like that, there was a, a pastor over here in Atlanta, Georgia. He laughed at the broadcast. But when I looked at his page in Discern, he looks like he's homosexual. My God. Gay bishops. You've never seen a gay bishop in God's holy word. You never seen it. You never seen family churches and God's word. Family churches. When he said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. But no, this is what men and women are saying now. Upon this rock, I will build a family church. And then they get together in the meeting and they rule out God's holy word. Because a family member don't want nobody talking about the sins. Go read the book of Acts 3.26. And I'm just paraphrasing. The Lord delivering us out of iniquity. That is the blessing plan. They got all these blessing plans and prosperity plans. The Lord delivering you out of iniquity is the blessing plan. The Holy Ghost is greed, my brother. And I do feel it. I do feel it because I just desire to see God's house in order. I'm not trying to be right. I want to be holy. I want to be holy and in line with the word of God. Amen. Don't you all want to be right and in line with God? I don't want to be in right and in line with men and women. I don't want to go off of what I think and what I believe. I don't know anything. Let this mind be in me that is also in Christ Jesus, the word of God says. Hallelujah. Let this mind be in me that is also in Christ Jesus. We need to have a mind of Christ. Not the mind of Ryan. Not the mind of my grandfather and my grandmama. Or my tradition. I, I, we need to have a mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. I want a mind of Christ. The mind I had, I got in trouble for it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Please, God, please, God, spare your people. The Lord is it, 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 sad, y'all. It's sad. It's just like walk, it's, it's just like watching a loved one perish away because of choice. And many people are allowing babies in Christ, infants in Christ, perish away because of their Irresponsibility. No humility. Where's the humility, y'all? Where, where, where has it went? Many people want to fight and battle. Competition in the church. Who's speaking in tongue the loudest? Who's speaking in tongue the loudest? Who's doing this the loudest? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a cry out and a pleading to those of you who truly love God and sincerely and sincerely want to please the Lord with everything you have in you. This is all for you all. Brothers and sisters, don't be weary and well-doing. Don't grow weary. Because people are, you know, they're misinterpreting things. They're calling you out your name. When you know you, 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 you preach the word, when you know you love the word. And I know some people may be saying, Minister Ryan or Evangelist Ryan or Pastor Ryan, whatever people call me. They may be saying, you sound so harsh, man. But I love you enough to tell you the truth. Man, I know how I feel. It, it feels like an orphan when you're walking around. <sighs> like a lost sheep. And you don't know. Man, man, I this just bring me to the this just bring me back when I was in Florida, man, and I was in church, man. I had not really any men. To take me under their wing and nurture me. To tell me 
What's the true gospel? I was wandering around like an orphan, not knowing this, not knowing that. Listening to the word week after week and not growing at all. Hand-me-down teachings are being passed down to many churches. Hand-me-down teachings. They got this teaching from their brother. They got this teaching from their grandfather. They got this teaching from this person, that person. And all they're doing is passing it down. But you're going to be hated, my brothers and sisters. You are going to be hated. You're going to be called things that are disturbing. But remain in the spirit. I love my brothers and sisters. When you love, you tell the truth. When you love, you tell the truth. Most of these things I did not have any revelation on. And many of you who've been following me since the day one I made this Facebook page and following this ministry and this broadcast on here, y'all see that, man, this brother's growing. I thank you all for the people who are literally praying for me, sincerely. I've lost people who thought they wanted the word of God, but you know why they was only listening to the word of God? Some people were just listening to the word of God as long as I was tickling their flesh. As long as I was saying things that they wanted to hear. That's the only reason why they wanted to listen and follow or whatever. And I lost them. I lost a lot of them. And I've been called a lot of names. How can bitter and sweet water flow from the same mouth? How can bitter and sweet water flow from the same well? It cannot. But it's happening. You will have somebody blessing you one day and then they call you Lucifer the next day. As Sister Terry Ann just put up, this is jealousy. Jealousy. Jealousy in the church as shit's to put up and it's so true. Because of your anointing, because of people listen to you. It's all God. I've watched my ministry on here. I've watched myself grow. And it's not even me. It's all God. I've watched things change. And it's going to continue to happen. But I've been called names. But I'm still going. I just want to see my God be pleased. Amen. Don't you really want to see God please? You, you've been pleasing your flesh. You've been pleasing your neighbor. Hallelujah. You've been pleasing this person, that person. You've been in selfish gratification for years. But it's time to, it's time to repent and believe the gospel. It's time to really serve the Lord. He said we must draw nigh unto him. It's, he says, seek me where I may be found. And every time I see that and read that and even quote it, that the Lord is saying, it's not, I'm not going to always be here for you to seek. So seek me now where I may be found now. I, st I, I stand at the door and knock. Please let me in. Make room for me. Let me in. Let me clean up and bring order to your life, in your home, in the ministry. Let me in. I stand at the door. I'm knocking, but I won't force myself in. I will not do it. I'm gentle. And one prayer that I do pray is, God, do not take your presence away out of my life, Lord. Lord, I know I don't do everything correctly, but please, God, your word says, now until you, him who is able to keep us from falling, Jude 124. So, Lord, you can keep us from falling. Keep me from falling. Keep brothers and sisters out there from falling. Keep us away from being scattered away and tossed away, oh God, from the falsehood that is being spreaded abroad. Lord, keep us. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Keep your people, oh God. Keep your people away from the falsehood that is being dispersed out into the land. Many men and women are being swept like trash being swept in the dustpan and dumped into the garbage because of the falsehood in the order in the system that God already has set up is being misused and ignored. And ignored. 
I don't care what nobody say. Who feels the feelings of God? Every now and then I feel God's heart because I used to break it. I used to break his heart but with the things I've done, with the things I've said. Don't take your presence away from me, oh God. People left me. People blocked me. People unfriended me. People walked out of my life. People shook my hand and had their hands behind their back and say, I'm going to do your wrong. But God change of not. And I used to break your heart. But he's so gracious and merciful and loving to the point that even though I've done that, it, it is the goodness of the Lord that causes the man to repent. Even in my wrong and in my sin and in your sin and in your wrong, his goodness causes us to repent. So how can I not serve him? How can I not? desire to want to see the house of God ran properly. How can I not want to see that? Why, why would I not want to? Why? When he's done all of that for me and done all of that for you. Brothers and sisters, Hear the word of the Lord. If we can respect establishments and businesses and our jobs and our bosses, if we can do that on a on a on a consistent basis, why not we do this for the Lord? Lord, I just desire, I just desire, Lord, what you want me to desire. Lord created me a new heart. Wash me clean, oh God. It's a song that I hear, and I don't know all of the words, but some of the words were just saying, and you and you can repeat it with me if you want to. The, the, the singer just says, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me up, God. Oh, yeah, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, in unison, hallelujah, oh, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me up, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Oh, fill me up, Jesus. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Oh, 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 fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Oh, hallelujah. God, fill your people. Fill me up, God. Lead us. Fill me up. God, fill me up, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Fill me up, God. Fill us up, God. Fill us up, God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, fill me up, God. Fill us up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Fill us up, Lord. We need to. Hallelujah. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Oh, 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 oh. Fill us, Jesus. 
Feel us, Jesus. Oh, bring order in the church, hallelujah. Bring order in the homes, hallelujah. Lord, we invite you in our hearts in this temple, oh God, where you dwell as your word says, hallelujah. The temple of where the Holy Ghost dwells. Lord, we invite you in. Clean us up, Father, from the crown of our head in the name of Jesus Christ to the soles of our feet. Lord, search in me, oh God, hallelujah. Anything that is wrong, search us, oh God. Lord, allow us to see it. Correct our error. Correct the women and the man of God who are supposed to be running your house by your spirit, who are led astray by their own lusts and their own appetites. Father God, forgive them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, restore us. Bring order. Glory be to God. Bring order in the house of God. Bring order in the homes of God. And bring order in the hearts of your sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In unison, pray with me. Praise God, brothers and sisters. Ask the Lord to fill you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. Praise this be to your name, Lord God. We just want to follow your way, Lord God. Your Lord, your way, God. Your way, Lord. It is the right way, God. It is the right way, God. It is nothing wrong with your way, God. Forgive us, Lord, for, for going against your will. For going against your way, oh God. Lord, we are sorry, God. We know not what we do, Lord. We know not what we do, Lord. We, we repent, Lord, for grieving your spirit, oh God. We repent, Lord, for operating out of error in the name of Jesus and operating out of ideology and in and, and vain deceit. Father God, forgive us in the name of Jesus all across the world, all across the globe, in every state, in every continent, Father, in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Hallelujah. Forgive us, God. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you all, but I... It, it, it it just brings tears, you know, to, to, to my eyes. Lord, have mercy. Because this God wants order. He wants order. He wants he wants order. Don't 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. It turned into a worship hour. It's turned into a worship program. A worship program. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord, and we want to operate how you how you already have it set up and 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 established. Hallelujah. Let's obey the Lord. Let's obey the Lord. Obey the Lord with everything in you. In him we have our being. We move, we be able to think, we be able to breathe. In him we have our being. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, we we just we just gonna trust it. We just gonna trust the Lord. Isaiah twenty six three. He'll keep us in perfect peace because our mind is stayed on Him. So we just gonna trust in the Lord to bring order, to bring restoration, to bring healing. Amen. To His house, to the homes, to the hearts of the people. Amen. That's what we're gonna do. We are gonna trust the Lord. That's what I'm gonna do. So just just be with me, brothers and sisters, in the spirit, as we trust the Lord, as we trust the Lord, to bring respect and to bring order and to bring the fear of the Lord in the hearts of the people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah in unison, y'all. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah, our hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. My hallelujah belongs to you. Yes, Lord. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah. You deserve it. Oh, hallelujah. You deserve it. 
Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. Yo, you deserve it. Hallelujah. You deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it. Oh, my hallelujah. Belongs to you. Oh, 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 my hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. Glory to God. We can't take the praise. We, the Lord will not share his praises in his glory with no one and nothing. So we boast in the Lord. Hallelujah. We boast in you, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for helping me as we worship you and we praise you. All of my help. I will look I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help. Our help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our hallelujah belongs to him, not to the president, not to America, not to men, not to idols, not to no one. The hallelujah belongs to you, O oh God. Elohim, Jehovah Rapha, Hell Shaddai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praises be to God, because there is no God but one. There is no God besides him. There is no other. Amen. Amen. The Lord had me worshiping. The Lord had me worshiping in unison with, with all of my brothers and sisters. The Lord said, feed my sheep if you love me. The Lord wants us to feed his sheep. Amen. And he wants order. I know that's what you want, Father. You just want order. He wants order in the house. And I thank you, Jesus, for, for placing this in my mind, placing this in my spirit. Yesterday, I was, I was just working. God looks for order. It's order everywhere. I don't care what nobody says. There is order everywhere. It's order everywhere. Your children must obey you. You know, there, there's order everywhere. It's a system everywhere. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for the, 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 the sharing, just in, to share and encourage a bro, another brother and sister. And just continue to keep praying. Let's stay on our knees. Let's stay in prayer. We're approaching August. Amen. And continue to strive and to fight the good fight. Fight the good fight of faith. Endure hardness as a good soldier in the army of the Lord. Continue to do that, brothers and sisters. Continue to do that, sons and daughters of the Most High. Continue to pray for with God, all things are possible. For with God, all things are possible. Amen. All things. So we're going to pray and praise the Lord to tr and trust in him to bring order in the house, to bring order in the church and to get this spirit that is full of error, this feminist spirit. To get to get to, to get this these pastors out of the house of God that are full of filthy lucre. I I really do believe in in declaring the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord is going to deal with these men and women and the people who are claiming to be sent by Him and operating in order. The Lord is going to shut it down. The Lord is going to shut it down. The Lord is going to shut it down. Because he's tired of the hypocrisy. He's tired of the pastors that are full of filthy lucre. He's tired of these ministers who are heaping to themselves false teachers, spirits, teaching the word of God, doctrines of devils. First Timothy 4.1. The Lord is tired of it. He's going to shut it down. He's going to shut the wicked down. He's angry with the wicked every day. But it's a shame to go down in water. To be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and then turn wicked. And instead of hating every false way, you begin to love it. Don't let that be you. Many are called, few are going to be chosen. It's going to be a time where that day comes. When it's going to be two in the field. 
One leave, the other one's going to be there. This is in the word of God. It's in the word of God. So wherever you are, stand. Stand on the Lord. Stand with the Lord. Stand on the Lord and his word. And, and brothers and sisters, continue to hold up that standard of holiness. Continue to hold up the standard of holiness. Amen. Because I don't like the disorder in the church. That's why women are doing whatever they want in church, taking offices that are given to men. That's why men are doing that. that that's why men are doing whatever they want. Men are not standing up and having backbone. They're not standing up for their wives. They're not standing up for the Lord. They're not standing up for their families, for the children. They're not doing it. So the women are doing everything. The women are going against the confinements of everything. Men are doing the same thing. Women are, the older women are doing whatever they want to do. It's just everything is just look a mess. But God's going to deal with it. He has the last say. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And by the grace of God, you'll be able to see this face again. Thank you all for tuning in. God bless.